children, so today I introduce you to the Cardinal. The Cardinal is a expanded 2x2 design, includes all the features for a current meta base, including roof drop box storage, roof quick respawn bedrooms with kids ready to go. Followed by personal bedrooms, add a total of 10 of them, with a makeshift open core car by 2 turrets, at a 16 box storage. Dry underneath that is the quick respawn floor covered by two turrets and two lockers, not to mention the main core with eight large box storage and nine small box storage with three metal bunkers. Let's say you guys built in the snow, right? Open up the front gate, you're greeted with two shotgun traps right leading you into the gatehouse. Your gatehouse is also presented with a six bag, six sleeping bag and two bed placement your TC and a locker room for additional respawns and compound defense. Going after this, you can just always put your Tommy kits in there just in case. Going after in the compound, you have eight large furnaces covered by eight turrets in total. And your entrances are over here, which these should be left open, including this. This is what you're gonna be greeted with. You're going to have to close all three in order to have access to the base. Once you open both of these, you're greeted with a shotgun trap here and a shotgun trap here. And in the mini china wall, which are breach peaks as well, you have your quick compound respawns in a total of 16 bags. Breach peaks include a window here, Two low walls here if they're on top of the base you can effectively blast them with a locker here same thing just put a hazmat and a tommy in there breach peaks in the center right here compound breach peak right here jumping up into this which is going to be our inner peaks you're rid of the turret this is the good point about this base you have eight personal bedrooms which is going to have one bed three small boxes and a locker to lead up to your second floor bedroom you have a ladder hatch that comes up here goes into here same kind of setup now after that let's get into the actual base which you can get in from the sides so what you could do here Let's have furnaces. You can have three furnaces down here or one turret based on your own liking. This will lead you into the base. Behind you, you have your quick three furnaces, three electrical furnaces and two small box quick smelting system. Opening up all the garage doors here. You have two lockers presented right here. Same thing, another three electric furnace smelter system. Four box loot room here, two quick depot boxes. Total of nine beds placed right here, scattered. And this will be one of the three metal bunkers, which have three large boxes of storage and three small boxes of storage, and which are all on each side and to open them you have to come outside get a building plan place a roof like so there you go you opened one of your bunkers and you have to do this on all four sides to open all four of them because this is cloned you'll have one exactly on the other side as well now to open up the main bunker which is right here which is already left open because I forgot to close them. Come outside real quick. Because this is placed there. Symmetry is on, so it just places all four and it. Now jumping down into your HQM bunker, which is also the core. Three furnaces here. Total of eight bags placed over here. Lots of storage space, very cozy. Low three workbench right here. After this, head up to the next floor up, which is going to be the transfer floor slash bed floor. You're going to have a line of beds, which is a total of eight beds and two sleeping bags. 
two small boxes, four large boxes, and a total of six furnaces and two turrets covering this. One more floor up. Going on to the either you can make this into a makeshift open core like this to quickly store your loot or you can leave this empty and do whatever you want with this. So the base by itself is all for you to design. Over here this is the way to one of the bedrooms which is also double as electrical room. This is also a personal bedroom as well. And opening this up this leads to your shooting floor which is right here. And this also leads to another bedroom which is over here. After that, this is going to be the shooting floor. You have one lower layer to shoot down your enemies that are on the ground. And also far. One higher layer, which will take you right onto the roof with a very weird peak right here. You can't jump out of it, but you can glitch right here and shoot at farther enemies. Now with that all settled, jump across here. Let's get onto the roof. So getting on the roof, you're in your makeshift open core. Off the sides, both of these sides, you have two bags, and then you have a total of three box, three large and three small box storage. Shotgun trap right here. This is crucial. You don't want to miss this. You always want to place this here to avoid raiders going deep because Nobody expects a shotgun trap right here in such a huge base. I will clear around that later on too. So there's another four bags up here, so a total of six bags. And a locker, small wood box. And that's completely the same on the other side. With two vending machines on either side. And the roof should be covered by four turrets. And also you have a variety of large boxes. And since we're on the base tour, and I forgot this in the ma main video, I'm going to tell you guys how to place the SAM sites, which when you come to the gatehouse right here, you can actually place a floor on that. Upgrade that to stone. Get yourself a SAM site. Slap that bad boy right on there. And you'll have four SAM sites ready to go with a blast from any direction. Normally keep them on safekeeper just in case of MLRS's because this big of a base is quite vulnerable to MLRS so I would suggest having four SAM sites fully lock and loaded. But if not you could always just have two, one on each side, that should do the trick as well. Starting with the starter for our starter, all we really need is a 2x1. And a Upgrade this to metal to save space. Metal door on there. Bags for your and your buddies. Let's put a level 3 workbench, but you could really put any workbench from 1 to 3 over here. There's your starter. Humble 2x1. Place that down anywhere. Do however you like the loot rooms. And uh, let's jump to a 2x2, two two, which is just a straight off expansion, like so. on there for the expansion but when you just start out with the 2x2 two two, you could always have this as a single door with wooden frames and out here same thing single door with a wooden frame like this forms your airlock but normally I would just keep this to a double door and a single door like so after that this is going to be your whole starter, your single 2x2, two two. you're going to be chilling with this for a while. Once you get a solid amount of resources, let's move on to step 2 by fitting all 4 bunkers in the second floor. 
right now for stage two we have did some little upgrades with the 2x2 which is at its final stage with everything hq end and the, the foundations and the roofs let's work on the four bunkers so you want to have symmetry on first for all sides which are going to be all four sides are going to be the same now you want to upgrade those to sheet metal now you want to build out one square and 15 triangles put a foundation here remove all the excess twigs build back with twig squares when you build the last square make sure it connects to the square outside upgrade this to sheet metal right away remove excess twigs Now you want to do two half walls here like so. Now you want to try to go on the opposite side of where your doorway is. Place a triangle frame, upgrade that to stone. Place trying twig triangles, two of them. If you did them correctly, they should pop in place just like that. And we place a roof, that breaks, which means you did it right. Make sure you do all this step beforehand and maybe even leave this twig as well and the two half walls just in case you did it wrong. Now we put in fill in the sides with walls, upgrade those to sheet metal on all sides. We fill this with a triangle frame, attach that onto the frame side, the garage door side. Upgrade this to metal, upgrade this to metal. Once you place that in, upgrade that to metal and give it another test to make sure everything works just fine, which it does. And now you have your bunker. So one thing you want to note is for the side of where your bunker entrance is, your main bunker entrance is, you want to have everything upgraded to HQM, which I will show here. Except for the triangle frame that's going to be metal, everything else will be HQM, like so. This is where your base is supposed to look when it's max upgraded. Now let's do all the three loot rooms. Now we seal all three of these off. Including the main one, which will upgrade it, which will be upgraded to armored. Your first floor with everything fully upgraded should look something like this. Let's move on to the second floor. Second floor, you want your entrances to be on the adjacent side of the main bunker. Entrance is going to be here. We're going to open. We're going to open half symmetry. Entrance is going to be here. Door here. Let's get this walled off. Let's get this walled off. And we're going to have this side specifically do something special. But I'll show you that later. Now we're going to have everything walled off for now. Just attach this to the outside here and then also attach a frame to this here same on this side now upgrade everything to the metal frames goes to stone now you want to try to attach your triangle like so Attach one more. If you're able to place it, perfect. You did it correctly. Now you want to upgrade both of them. Now you want to test it. Placing down a roof. Check if this opened up. 
So it did. Let's break this. Seal everything off again for the sake of better movability while building. This one can be sealed to stone. You can put a half wall here for your jump up like so. Upgrade that to stone and upgrade this to metal eventually. And then let's fill everything with garage doors real quick. One, two, three. And then let's fill up the top. You want the middle one not to attach to the exterior, but to attach to one of the side ones. Upgrade to metal. Seal the top by putting frames in the middle. Upgrade them to metal for less hitbox. Seal everything off, upgrade everything to metal, of course. And let's work on this uh, special area right here. Now with symmetry off, first you want to seal the wall here. Upgrade this to metal. This to HQM, this to HQM, this to HQM, and this to HQM. I'm going to seal this off. You can keep both those to metal. You can seal this with HQM. Next up, you want to put a garage door here. Upgrade this garage door here. And you can have a locker right here. Here's your jump up. You can have three furnaces here, or one, depends on your liking. After that, Want to have the opposite side right here, seal this off, upgrade this to metal, turn it around, frame in the middle, two triangles like so, break this, upgrade to stone, four box loot room right here. Like so. Seal this off with a garage door. Close this in with a window bar. And close everything else off with garage doors. Now heading up onto the roof, you can seal both of these off with half walls or low walls. side this can be a full wall this can be a half wall and a low wall and then you're gonna have single door frames upgraded to wood everything else upgraded to stone same on this side just like that with the top sealed off also upgraded to wood same one over here there you go there's your base pretty much finished on your second stage, which at your current stage should be mostly stone, except for these can be upgraded to metal. But these are the uh, final upgrading. So let's get the externals and the compound finished. Sorry, not compound, mini china wall. First things first, with half symmetry on, we're gonna figure out the inner peaks. something like so right now and then we're gonna have the HQM the one like so and then upgrade both these to stone this to metal this to stone this to stone this to metal so it should look something like this now next step we need to attach this to the actual build by putting two low walls and upgrading them to wood like so and next up let's get some wide gaps down with all four sides being the same one two three three blocks out leave one leave this one remove the twig and replace this back with metal and quickly get this to hqm like how it used to and quickly go inside and seal off the bunkers Now 
with the white caps foundations down, you're going to triangle your way back, remove excess, two square foundations here, like this, remove excess, foundation like so. Before you place down the square foundation, I forgot one crucial step. We're gonna stay at this stage for now. You have to half side this, which are gonna be placing a square outside and upgrading that, the sheet metal. Same with on this side, because you can't place on this side, you can only place on this side. Remove that, upgrade this to sheet metal. There you go. On all four sides, it should look something like this. And we could connect that with low walls as well. And let's finish out the this side as well. Just like that. And let's finish the white gaps. With a square on this side, triangle, square. We're gonna quickly repeat that on the same area right here. Square, square, triangle, triangle, square, square. And then two triangles on each tip. Same with over here, like so. It should look something like this. And we remove the excess twig that's over here. And then we'll remove the inner triangles like this and this one here. After that, we put four raised foundations. Upgrade those to metal, like so. And then let's connect our wide gaps with a TC. Upgrade everything to stone. Since all our wide gaps are the same, I'm gonna open symmetry. With symmetry on four sides, we're gonna have a foundation here. And then we're gonna build out like this with a square here, triangle here. Remove excess. We're gonna have twig like this, upgrade those to stone. We're gonna connect the rest of the foundations with a full wall here and a full wall here, upgrade those to stone. With a frame here, upgrade that to stone. Two low walls here, upgrade both of those to stone. Foundation here, like this, with an arrow tip shape. That, which is going to be the arrow tip shape. Upgrade first three of these to stone. For cost efficiency, you can upgrade the final one to metal. Upgrade both these to metal. Triangle on top, upgrade that to metal. Have all four of your TCs placed in here. right from here, frame here, frame here, door, door, window, door, door, window, everything can be upgraded to stone, you can remove this foundation, and on top of there, seal out with triangle, triangle, upgrade both those to stone. Now in the middle, you're going to have a quick drop zone, which is going to be four half walls and a triangle. Upgrade the middle one to wood, everything else to stone. Your box placement are going to be like so. Correctly, you can fit three large boxes on here with no problem. Upgrade that to stone, seal it off with sheet metal doubles. 
and at least two singles on each side right here and right here with window bars vertical embrasures like so here's your four gatehouses with your TC and everything connected let's move on to the inner ring which I'm gonna have two side adjacent on you're gonna have your jump up side like so with everything sealed off Except for breach peak right here, upgrade to metal, leave these to stone, everything else to metal. We're gonna have door frame here, door frame here, half wall, low wall, half wall, low wall. Upgrade everything to stone. With a frame here like so, upgrade this to metal. Also have this to metal, like so. Seal the top off with stone. Have this as well sealed off with stone, which you could have more box placements on top of a ramp, or you could have this as a normal box storage like so. But personally, I would have three electric furnaces right here and two small boxes. With three electric furnaces on the side. One, two, like that small box here and small box place like so with industrial piping going around you can have a auto smelting system just placed right here after that move it on to the entrance side seal this off with two frames upgrade those to stone middle one upgrade that to metal frame on top Upgrade to stone on the sides. Upgrade those to stone. Upgrade this to metal for stability. Now you can remove this and this and this. Same on over here. You can smack them out with a salvage sword. Fill this in on both sides. Upgrade everything with metal. And your base should look something like this right now. You can place your garage door on the inside right here. Sheet metal door is facing the outside. Triangle on top, upgrade that to stone where you could eventually have your auto turret right underneath this here. like so. Now next up, you will want to have your mini china wall done. So let's finish the outside of that. You can break this as well. Upgrade these to stone. Follow that on the same side, break this. Upgrade these to stone. Same thing over here except upgrade them to metal. Now for over here, you want window here like so, window here like so, break this here, window here like so. And for these, you want to have one low wall, one window on top of that. Break this here, door frame like so. You're gonna have door frame here, seal this off. Following that quickly on this side,
Now we seal the top off. Do a little here. Now upgrade everything to stone. And with that, we have our mini china wall almost finished. Now we're just missing the doors, which are gonna go here. And just like that, we have everything placed where it's supposed to be. Let's finish up the mini china wall with all the accessories. That we have all our accessory placed. Let's put on some slanted root pieces and turrets. With that on all sides, turrets are gonna go on top of here with this upgraded to metal. Like so, on all four sides. Two of the sides actually not having a roof here. With that we have all four of our sides completed. The shotgun traps. For all four sides, you're gonna have shotgun traps laid down like this. On here. And on here. If you want to, for the additional fun, you could also have them facing right here. Same on the other side, and right there, like so. So when the raiders breach through these doors, for example, they don't exist, they'll get blasted by shotgun traps, and this, they will get blasted by shotgun traps once again. And after this, for one more line of security, this is a, you don't have to have it, but it's cool if you do. You can put ladder hatches here, which gives additional peak angles and better protection like so. Now we have our mini china wall fully finished. 
let's move on to the main base and give it a few upgrades and build it a few floors up. Now starting with the inner peaks, let's just fill in the bedrooms first, which is quite important. So first what you want to do, you want to have two side symmetry on, which is what I like to do. You want to have one here, following that one here as well, door, roof, door, roof, and you could have either ladder hatch right here, upgrade those to stone, or just the ladder off the side. On top of here, you upgrade all this to stone, following on this side as well, upgrade everything to stone. Following that, you want to have a window here, frame here, roof on top of this, everything to stone obviously, garage door here, window here. Same on this side. Now let's figure out the inner peak downs. Make sure these garage doors are faced outwards so nobody can pass through these holes. And over here for these gaps, you could either have shotgun traps facing down, which is what I like to do to make raiders have more safe suffering and pain, or you could just have a siren light placed here. Next up on top of this here, I would like to have just a single shotgun trap to make the raiders suffer even more. And over here, I would place a turret right in the dead center, right there. So you have decent angles to the outside and also turret coverage. And after that, I would normally place a turret on over here. Clone on this side. Following with frame like that and the frame over here to separate the base just upgrade them to stone you don't need them to be way over upgraded chain link fence gates will do the trick for you I seal this off with garage doors as well Now with that, and the inner peaks fully finished, let's move on to the transfer layer and the shooting floor. So first you want to seal this all off. Upgrade this to stone, this to stone, this to metal. Metal this, metal this, stone, stone, metal. Follow the same pattern, in the end you'll be left with something like this. After that, break all the wood that's on there. Following that, you would want two of these in the center. Upgrade both of those to stone. Metal for stability. Fill them with triangles. Upgrade them to metal. You want to fill the corners those to metal for stability purposes. Same thing for the sides. Now you want to aim your and you want to build out your roof. This can be metal, this will be metal, this is stone, 
this to metal, this to stone, this to stone. Stone, 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 everything else. Pattern should look something like this. Following that, we're gonna have squares here. Upgrade that to metal for sure. And follow the pattern with the whole inner ring upgraded fully to metal. Just like that, we have everything fully filled up. Okay, now for the inside, you would want full wall here. Half wall, half wall, half wall, full wall. Remove this, this is the wrong part. We're supposed to have a door here, like so. Upgrade this to stone, upgrade this to stone. Now you wanna upgrade this to metal, and this to metal as well. You wanna have a frame here. You're gonna have this left as wood. You can chop that out later. Same on these sides, you'll see, you'll know what they're meant for. You probably already know what they are meant for. So now you stone this out, follow that over here. You're gonna have a turret on top of this one here. To protect your respawn. This is your middle room respawn. Low walls on top of these. Upgrade everything. Stone. Now you're gonna have garage door here and garage door leads to the outside, like so. We're gonna have both these gap popped with garage doors. total of 10 bags you can climb on top of this like so and there you go here's your middle quick respawn room with some boxes off the side small four box chamber for your quick respawns and guns after that let's move on to the next step by chopping these bad boys out and finishing up the shooting floor the shooting floor, you want to start out by finishing out the wide gaps. Like so. With full symmetry on for all sides. I have a half wall placed here and just a quick heads up remove these two half walls with soft side facing inwards upgrade to metal with all these to metal the middle ones to metal this also to metal these ones to metal as well and everything else that's left twig to stone With that, your wide gaps are finished. Now you just need to fill up everything. So follow me along for the first one, which is gonna be all four of them. Now you're gonna have this upgraded to metal, 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 stone, 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 stone. Follow this pattern. For all sizes, it should look something like this. Now for the corner one, you're gonna have one low stone right there. Low walls like so, upgrade them to stone. Window, 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 window. Everything to metal. Obviously this one should be metal as well. I don't know why I did stone for that. Flooring on top, that could stay stone. One more step up, this is the top one, that could also stay stone. Have frames on here like so, upgrade them to stone. Copy that on the other two sides. 
after taking a little bit to figure out the stability issue, I've came back with a result for you. So when you're placing down the two roofs, instead of placing them as triangle roofs, place them as square roofs so they connect to this, which gives more stability, which will hold up the entire thing. Rust have a weird thing with stability where some of them just work, some of them just don't. So I'm going to quickly replace this one and you'll see how I did it, but feel free to slow down the video. There we go, we have everything placed like so. Let's add all the windows. They should be the same on all four sides. Opening with full symmetry open, follow a pattern of upgrade. Metal, metal, metal on the corner, middle and corner, and stone on the rest. Followed by a ramp in the middle low ramp. Upgrade that to stone or metal. I prefer metal. Let's fill in the actual base part. So you want to have wall here and wall here. With these set to adjacent, you're going to have the ramp side set as your exit and you're going to have this walled off. One side leads to the inside. The other side leads into one of the bedrooms. And with the side leading to the inside, you're going to have a door here, a door here, and then with this side, you're going to have that walled off as well. Now for some upgrades, everything will go to stone. With this wall to metal. these to metal. These could stay as stone. These corners to metal as well. And then with the jump up, you want to have this here. Upgrade to stone. Have a wall here. Stone wall. Triangle here. Metal triangle. Close that up with a garage door. Close this up with a garage door. Garage door here, garage door here. Just garage door spam everything. Obviously at this is metal. Should be able to even place a frame there, which I'm not able to. That's all right. You can have this here. Window like so. Single door facing the outside. Quick bedroom setup with two lockers. And on this one, you could have an electrical room with batteries in there. With a single bed up here and a locker blocking the battery. Small box here for more storage. Small box down here and over like this. With your electrical room, you could upgrade that to metal. Then I would suggest upgrading this to metal in case of a raid for stability reasons. Now for over here, we're gonna seal this off middle to metal as usual, just for stability and protection. And the size to stone, we're gonna have one side 
as a drop box zone right here. Should be the same on either side if you take a look here. Seal the top off. On the other side, seal it with a frame. Half wall here, since lots of player likes to go deep from the roof, you can have a shotgun trap right underneath this to give them a surprise attack. They never expect that shotgun trap. I've used this many, many times. And when you're living in this big of a base, when you have a shotgun trap right there, they don't expect it at all. For better yet, you could have a box placed right here and a small box right here for even more convincing. Some sleeping bags on the bottom. Garage door closing this off. Make sure that garage door door part, that part is facing inwards. Same thing with this one, facing inwards. After that, going on top. You want to seal this off. Window there. Seal this off. Door here. Window placed correctly. Window there. Everything to stone. With the door already placed there. Just tie off the roof. And let's seal off the center here. Everything should be upgraded to metal for top-down protection, but I doubt you'll even get a top-down with the later SAM site placement. Have this upgraded to sheet metal. And if you want to, you can have a makeshift open core right here. With some salvage shelves off the side. You can have your quick drop zone right in here. And then with two turrets covering the center, like so. There you have it. That's your shooting floor done. So let's give a quick tour. This is your way up and this is your way out into the shooting floor. Now shooting floor is technically not finished. So let's seal this all off. Now same thing, metal this, metal this, metal this, stone the rest, following over here. Like so. And now let's have the roof placed. Oh, we're missing. Your base should look something like this at this point. Let's get all the windows sealed off real quick. Now it's full symmetry on, garage doors in the corners like so, and garage doors in these corners like so. Perfect. Let's seal the rest off with the roof. Now with full symmetry on, garage doors in the corners like so, and garage doors in these corners like so. Perfect.
Let's seal the rest off with the roof. One issue I found while placing the garage doors, you need to have these uh, garage doors facing the inside or else you're unable to place the roofs. So right here, we'll have roofs here. Same with over here. Follow these with roofs. And then we'll have triangle roofs right here. But before you do that, you should have triangle roofs right here. Then follow one right there. Now you can have one here to seal this off. Some of this side, one right over there, and one right here like so. Then we're going to seal this off, upgrade everything to stone. You'll see why we have these very soon, those weird triangle placements. We're going to head over here, upgrade this as well. Upgrade these weird triangles that's sticking out. Now next up, same on this here. You want to have triangle roofs here, 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 and here. Upgrade those to stone. And for those sneaky raiders that likes to climb things up, we're gonna put some metal barricades right on the edges of this. Trust me, I when I played using this base, these barricades helped a lot. If they weren't there, my base would probably be raided. These barricades give a raider a much harder footing and make them suffer a lot more. One place like so, they have no access to this whole area and they're stuck doing this way harder for them to climb up and it's way easier for me to control the base. Vending machine place here, window right here, garage door sealing this off, same with over here, you're gonna have a garage door sealing this off as well. Side you could have a locker here. Sleeping bags, three on each side. Maybe even four for your eight friends in total. And there we go, here we have it. Let's put some turrets on the top of the base. By having two frames right here like so, we can build this three high. Place a floor down. Oh, place a floor down, the second one. Having it too high. And then we're gonna upgrade everything to stone. With some triangles or roofs. Same on this side. bottom either upgraded to adobe or upgraded to metal it's up to your own choice adobe is obviously way better since it's a stone variant texture but metal is also good for this there we go with a few upgrades let's just drop that down back to garage or drop this down back to stone and drop this down back to metal 
just like that. These skins, I'm really not liking them. Drop this back, do this, there we go. Perfect. Now let's upgrade these to metal, because they look cooler as metal. windmills on top of that there and some quick accessory upgrades we have our rooftop depot storage and let's move on quickly to the gatehouses which I completely forgot until now we're gonna have full symmetry on for all sides and here's how we're going to do this. We're going to have these upgraded to stone. We're going to have this stay as twig here and twig here. We're going to have these walled off. Same on this side. Have these walled off. Upgrade them to stone. Ceiling here. Stone that. And then we're going to stone both of these here as well. Close this in. Close this in. Upgrade those to stone. We're gonna have two windows right here and then we're gonna seal this off as well with two of these these are gonna be turret pods which are gonna sit right here close this off and close the top of this off on either side Close the middle, upgrade everything to stone, frame right here, upgrade that. And prison doors are actually quite crucial since you want the opening to the right, which will open like so. The reason why this helps is I want the shotgun traps to be able to kill with one shot, which are going to be placed right here and right here like so. So with this place like so, when you open and enter into there, you're going to get blasted by shotgun traps immediately on both sides. And there you go. You want to seal these off with window bars and preferably embrasures as well. Under the circumstance where you're under a raid and you need to quickly open this up and shoot out, embrasures can be a big help sealing the outside. Now let's fill these in with sheet doors over here. Now we're going to have a battery here. Not a, a locker here. Sealed with a door so it's easy access. We're gonna have the TC. Sealed off behind a stone wall. And a actual battery right here. Sealed off also behind a reinforced embrasure. We're gonna have one frame here. And have that as a garage door. Gonna have beds placed in here so with eight beds in total on each one of the gatehouses and for the excess you could if you're on a server with no bag limits you could even have all your friends bagged right here so with two as the main bag and then you can have six other ones on here Now after that, you want to seal your mini china wall off with also the metal barricades. So just follow what I'm doing here.
and with all that placed like so you are finished with your base and I'm gonna run around and do some quick upgrades and now this is it for the base I'm gonna do the compound just follow along but you should do your compound however you like because this uh, compound is not the most reliable on most planes because you need to find a really flat ground in order to do this compound properly. Like so we have our compound fully finished and that's it for the base thank you guys for watching and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time